Of the millions of kids who've grown up playing hockey in Michigan, just a very select few have ever made it to the NHL. Some of the more notable here in West Michigan, Mike Knubel, Dan Bilesma, Justin Abdelkader, and Luke Glendenny. The next to get the chance to do so, a Rockford native, UMass standout, Mitchell Chafee, who joins us now. And Mitch, first of all, congratulations on signing a two-year deal with the Wild. I know there's a big step to go, but what does this mean to you to have this dream come true that so many of us have had? Yeah, I mean, you grow up, you grow up playing hockey as a kid out on the on the pond. You look forward to to this moment, and you look forward to uh, some days just seeing yourself uh, out playing in the NHL, playing against the stars that you grew up watching. You had a great three years at UMass, sensational final two. You were the captain. I know nothing's ever set in stone until camp, but it appears the plan is for you to play with Iowa in the AHL. And what will that be like playing as a pro at Van Andel Arena here in Grand Rapids? Yeah, growing up, uh, you go out and you watch the Grand Rapids Griffins play and you dream about being out there someday. So uh, it's kind of a reality check um, that uh, I'll, I'll be out there at, in the Van Andel and uh, it'll be a, a really cool experience. And usually this time of year, camp dates are being set. There's off-season preparations going on. How are you dealing with that now with the coronavirus shutdown? It's not like the usual um, you sign and you go play with the team right away uh, with everything going on I've been trying to keep busy here at home uh, with working out and uh, especially trying to finish my schoolwork for the semester so it's been uh, a lot to handle. I've been calling Griffin's games for 20 years and had the pleasure of watching a lot of really good players make their pro debuts in Grand Rapids. Uh, more often than not though a lot of those guys are surprised by what a big jump in play it is. Uh, speed, physicality, what have you heard and how will you approach it if the AHL is where you end up? Yeah, I've heard the same thing. Uh, I mean, it's a big jump uh, from the speed and how physical and how big guys are. And uh, that's something that I think I'll, I'll need to adjust to. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Mitch. Hey, we look forward to seeing you play with Iowa and then ultimately Minnesota. Thanks for doing this. And we hope you guys get a chance to go to camp sometime relatively soon this fall. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me.